This is my 73 Fiat with a 1 liter sport bike engine in it, and today we're taking it to the Good Vibes Breakfast Club. And this is a motorcycle powered leaf, but we'll get to that in a minute. The Good Vibes Breakfast Club is a meeting place for car enthusiasts located at Newcomb's Ranch along Angels Crest Highway. It takes place every Friday morning. Super fast Matt invited me up here today, and as some of you know, his bike powered Honda is what inspired me to build my Suzuki powered Fiat. Matt was meeting up with the owner of this bike powered Leaf and was nice enough to let me tag along. One thing led to another and I actually got to drive the Leaf. It was awesome. But first, let's talk about the location. Newcomb's Ranch is a roadhouse located just over 5,000 feet in elevation in the Angels National Forest. It's about an hour northeast of downtown LA and it's very popular with motorcyclists and car enthusiasts. The ranch closed permanently in 2020 and the roads actually closed north of the ranch which makes this a great place for car enthusiasts to bring their cars and really get to enjoy them without too much traffic. The only downside for me is the fact that the event takes place on a weekday, which means I have to deal with two hours of rush hour traffic to get here. But when you have the opportunity to take your motorcycle powered car to a place like this and meet up with two other motorcycle powered cars, you do it. When we got to the event, we must have been quite a spectacle because a group of people rushed over to see the cars and it was clear right away there was a crowd favorite. Matt's Honda has a 1000cc Honda engine in it, my Fiat has a 1000cc Suzuki engine in it, and Derek's Leaf has a 1000cc Kawasaki engine in it. Matt and I's cars are straight up bike powered. The Leaf is a hybrid. The electric drivetrain in the Leaf is untouched and the car can still be driven under battery power alone. However, the pack's a bit old so the car only gets about 25 miles of range under battery power. The bike engine gives it roughly another 100 miles of range. By the way, remember when I mentioned it took me a few hours to get here? Derek drove this Leaf down from NorCal. It took him 7 hours. But back to the drivetrain. The accelerator pedal, which is drive-by-wire, is attached to both drivetrains and they work together seamlessly. Oh, and there's a new third pedal. Having the electric motor does solve a few problems. For one, motorcycle transmissions don't typically have reverse, so that creates a problem when putting them into cars. My car has a quaff diff, which gives it reverse, and Matt's car has a quaff reversing box incorporated into the drive shafts, giving it reverse. The Leaf still has its existing electric motor, so it can use that to go backwards. Bike-powered cars can also struggle to get off the line, since torque is not their strong point. The Leaf uses its electric motor to assist you when taking off, so that eliminates that problem as well. When it comes to the driving experience, all three cars are amazing. The sound of the engines are intoxicating and they're all thrilling to drive. However, there are noticeable differences between the Leaf and Matt and I's car. The Honda and the Fiat are both over 50 years old, have virtually no padding in the seats, no power assistance in the brakes or steering, and each weighs less than 1,500 pounds. The Leaf weighs over twice that much, has comfortable modern seats and power assisted steering and brakes. And man do the brakes work. They really work. Derek put brakes off a 370Z Sport on it and they are a bit touchy. The Honda and Fiat take the driving experience to an extreme level. It's like taking all the sounds, vibrations, and feedback you get from a really good sports car and cranking them up. If a really good sports car is a 10, then these cars are like a 14 or 15. It's almost sensory overload. When you get out, you can still feel your body vibrating for a while. The Leaf is a more subdued experience. The sound is there, but you don't get the vibration from the solid mounted engine because the seats are so soft. The handling is better than that of the Fiat, but it doesn't have the same feedback since it's power assisted. The acceleration in both the Honda and the Fiat is more noticeable because they each weigh half as much as the Leaf. The Leaf is of course a much more usable car, for all the reasons just mentioned. The Leaf was also built as a track car and apparently it's pretty good at it. The Fiat and the Leaf both use everything off the original bike to make the engine run, including the ECU, injectors, airbox, etc. In fact, the only change I made to the Suzuki setup was to extend the wire harness so I could mount the gauges on the dash of the Fiat. The Leaf uses a camera facing the gauges to show them on a display in the car. The Leaf and the Fiat start up and run perfectly, just like they did in bike form. The Honda has a different ECU, oil system, and breather box, and as a result is a bit more finicky. I can't say which car is best, but I can tell you that I'm currently looking for a BMW i3 and a BMW S1000RR so I can combine them. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.